Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. It's time to talk about a few new additions to the roster. But it wouldn't be Christmas without the Polar Express. And this season, I added two more cars to my Polar Express train, the diner and the hot chocolate car. And I think they're pretty neat additions. I've also made some other new additions, namely some scale-sized box cars. I realize the two cars behind me are not box cars. Those are hoppers, but they're just fun to run. I love those two, so I figured I'd include them. Out front, you'll see the Pennsylvania Alco FA by Weaver. And now that I have some scale cars to go behind it, it looks a lot better, because really those 64 64s just didn't look right behind it. I had picked up these two hoppers recently at one of the train shows, and they are both Lionel pieces. I hope I can get more, at least, of the Lehigh Valley one. I just think it's a really great car and a great throwback to the post-war car. Of the scale box cars I've picked up, they're MTH, Lionel, and Weaver. This one's an MPH. It's a nice heavy car, nice separately applied details, a little bit of styrofoam stuck in the wheel here. Uh, but really a nice quality car, and I think I'm definitely going to be looking for more of these MTH cars. And being me, I have to find them for 20 bucks or less. And I think all of these scale cars I've picked up for 20 or less. Maybe one was a little bit more, but let's not get picky. I love this Lionel one because it's a 64-64, but in scale size. I just think that's fantastic. Now, compared to the MTH car, the applied details are a little more fine, but to me, that's dangerous because that's just fragile looking and I hate breaking ladders off things. The ladders on the MTH car maybe aren't as scale looking, but they're a little sturdier. But either way, these are two of my favorite cars so far. I would love to add more of those scale sized 6464 cars to the roster, but I don't know how many I will find for 15 bucks or 10 bucks. So we'll just have to see what happens. I have been kind of scoping through eBay looking for any scale box cars that are on the cheaper end, um, maxing out at $30, including the shipping. Uh, I don't know how many I'll really look for. There are a couple that I found at good prices I have a couple more on the way. I don't know if they'll get here before I finish this video. If they do, I'll include them. Otherwise, they'll just have to wait for the next one. This Florida East Coast car is another MTH car. And again, so far out of the types that I've picked up, these MTH cars are definitely my favorite. They're well built, they're sturdy, they're heavy. And I've just been really happy with the ones that I've purchased. I purchased this car mainly because I wanted to see how the Lionel Standard O cars from the MPC era would stack up next to some more of their more modern scale cars or the MTH cars. And I have to say, while not as detailed, the details are molded in on the car. Uh, it's definitely lighter, but it still has cast trucks, plastic bottom. For an MPC era scale car, I'm pretty happy with it. It was a good budget option for scale cars. Uh, I mean, I try to stay under 25 for all of them, but I'm gonna try to find more of these MPC era standard O cars and see how good of a deal I can get on some of them. Because really, as far as budget's concerned, they're not bad. My only real complaint I mean, I don't really mind the lack of separately applied details, but this bit here on both sides that hold the shell to the frame, that's just kind of ugly. For a fraction of the price of other scale cars, I'm okay with that little imperfection. I really like this one. And this car is pretty good quality. I found some varying quality among some of the Weaver stuff I found, but this one, I have to say I like it. I wish I knew more about the Weaver. I'll have to do some more research and find out, you know, what time frame this is from so that I can kind of figure out which ones I like and which ones are kind of too cheap. This Canadian National is another MTH car. And again, just a great quality car. 
I think any time I find one of these MTH scale box cars for 20 or under, they're just gonna have to come home with me because they're just a really nice car. And this Pennsylvania Railroad is also MTH. I like some of that writing on the end of the car. That's a nice little detail. Now this Erie Lackawanna, I was disappointed by. Uh, it is extremely lightweight. It's got a plastic bottom. It was new in the box, still wrapped up, and the plastic bottoms worked. Now I took it apart, snapped it back together, and it's okay. I don't need to really do anything with it at this point. Um, this also had a ladder that was broken, so I had to glue that back on. But comparing this to that, the Chicago Northwestern, this just doesn't really match the quality on that one. So is this a newer one, an older one? I don't know. Not a bad car. You know, I can add weight to it. That's not a big deal. Thin plastic bottom just kind of bothers me. And plastic trucks. So for those reasons, the plastic bottom, the plastic trucks, not a big fan, but it is a good looking car. This Rock Island is also a Weaver. Plastic bottom, plastic trucks, but it's not warped, so I like it a little bit better. But still, out of all of these cars, these two Weavers with the plastic bottoms are probably my least favorite as far as construction is concerned. Uh, I do really like this car with the contrasting ends. It's a neat looking car. I just wish the bottom was at least thicker plastic, if not metal, but Maybe I can swap on some different trucks at some point. I don't know. It doesn't matter all that much. Uh, the easiest thing to do is throw some weights inside the car and weigh it down a little bit. So at some point, I plan on doing that, um, weighing each of these cars individually, seeing how much they weigh, taking the heaviest one, and then making all the cars weigh the same amount. So that will be a project for another day when it's not 32 degrees in here. So I'd say considering I've only been chasing after these scale size box cars for a little bit, I'm really happy with the ones I have found and that I haven't had to pay 50 or $70 per car. I'm going to continue looking for these cars at train shows. I'm gonna do my best to stay off of eBay because I that's just dangerous. Uh, but at train shows, if I can find them for 10, 15, 20 bucks, that I would be perfectly happy with. Uh, I'll have to walk away from a good number of them, but it's definitely doable.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.